Hey everyone, welcome to the weekend vid. We're gonna get through it as quick as we can. So first looking at the broader market in here, we'll see biotechs closer to a rev strat week one, two, two. Retail closer to being a two, two back down. Um, if we go to healthcare, it's closer to being a two, two back down. And if we kind of zoom over in here, gold, GDX closer to continuing. You'll see Nvidia on the big seven names inside on the week. And they have been going after Amazon. If we go to the other indexes, SPY's hammer month in force going into the end of the month. And then semis is going to be closer to rev strat week one, two, two back down should things be weak at all next week. Most things are going to to the upside as of last week. So it's going to be hard to turn that all around. We don't have really any two downs to talk about besides the volatility names in here. So for now, most things rallying. If things were to be weak, biotechs, healthcare, semis is what we'd want to be looking at. And then gold, GDX will have the momentum hammers with long green bars on the monthly basis. So by a sector basis, that's what you got going. There's also the transports, which will have the shooter week into next week. So we're going to take a look at that sector. And what I want to do here is let me get this up. So in the transports, we had FedEx with some really bad earnings last week, gigantic three on the week. So for the gapper traders, something I want to know about, um, we're going to keep this one on the list and see if we get a setup on the daily. What we prefer to normally see is like an inside day or something set up or a 2-2 after the gap down. It does have an inside four hour going into next week with the big outside week closer to continuation down with the bearish engulfing week to the downside. Um, that being said, the transports obviously have the shooter. If we look at the bigger holdings in there, UNP is also an outside week, but closer to recovering to two back up. The airlines have been pretty strong still, so those are still going up. And let's see, ODFL, I'm just going to quickly run through it. So ODFL, this is one from last week on the inside week list I was looking at. Monday, you can see they took out the top of the weekly try. Shooter rev strat week setting up to next week. See if anything comes of that below 190.86, which would re-trigger a 2-2 month into the end of the month. So it's magnitude down in here. If that gets puking, you got PMG on the week. Um, Norfolk Southern, also a little weaker, but still two up on the month, setting up for next month. Than any of the other airlines like Love, you know, still a little bit stronger than everything else. So in the transports, we'll see. You can also with FedEx, you have the UPS shooter, but they have the hammer day on the gap down, so they could try and recover that. Doji on the month at this point. So FedEx really the main one in there that's moving around. And then maybe that UNP and then an ODFL, which is freight. We'll see if anything comes of that stuff. Um <clears throat> Just quickly take a look and make sure I'm not missing anything. Doesn't look like I am. Uh, so there is that. As far as going into next week then with the weekly signals, we will have on the week. And forgive me, I'm just getting the scans in here. On the bearish RevStrat shooter list, we'll have CELH Consumer Defensive, which is already bright red month and has been puking for a while. So you got the shooter week to try and reconfirm that stuff. Not the biggest magnitudes, but with continuity, it could go a lot further below 3291. Dollar Tree Consumer Defensive also. You can see potential RevStrat week back down below 6963. Very bright red month. It is, as you can see, right down at these lows. So we'd like to take those out 6023. Uh, so 6963. Could get like nine bucks down there. Uh, outside of that, ODFL we already talked about. We will see a few healthcare's in there, which we'll talk about in a sec. Um, so the biotechs, if anything's gonna be weak next week, these are closer to rev strat down. If they don't rev strat, so if this trade setup does not work, they still have a hammer month in force and I believe an inside year up in force reversal. So biotechs, they could still do better, but they're closer to reversing next week should the market weaken up at all um if we go to rvty health cares you're going to see the shooter week rev strat below this 121 26 and that would after setting up the potential rev strat month which we talked about in the premium section which it did boom blast off uh you're going to see it to the penny takes that out and then brings it back in on a Friday two two to set up the shooter week. So could go outside month again, going into next month. If we go to 
two up and red in that healthcare sector. We're going to see more potential rev strat setups. So MCK, which is already three, two down month would be a rev strat one, two, two week to confirm that below 50, 504.88 on a two week chart. This is a measured move and you can see puke sideways and then a puke again next week with the rev strat to trigger it. If it does not, it's daily PMG back up, but I'm not too interested in buying it. If we get an MOH, and see also potential one, two, two rev strat week in healthcare's after becoming an outside month like our VTY. And CI closer to our three, one, two, two rev strat, still two up month, so it'd be setting up to next month. Uh, if we go to the technology sector, since we saw that semis was also you know closer to rev strat back down, we'll see if there's any semis in there on the rev strat list. It does not look like there is many, uh, but we will have Nvidia inside week, inside month for next week. So you know we'll see it's kind of drying up with the inside month. So might be a month early there. Wait for next month. Let's get quickly tap through these. All right, don't got too much to add there. Um, Outside of the tech sector, two up and red is really your consumer defensive, your healthcare is where we could have some simultaneous break reversals after going up last week. Um, on the rev strat bullish, two down in green. The only thing that shows up on the list is SO, which is the utility sector. XLU went up last week, three, two week, confirming a three, two month. And we will have to see, as you can see, so something we pointed out, we had someone in the discord, I'll show you this. You can see we pointed this out on the quarterly macro video above that, 6576, and you'll see PMG, boom, blast off. So that's why we like to take more evidence or create more evidence for our trades by combining things. You got the quarterly inside bar signal to cause movement, the PMG to cause a lot of liquidity to be taken from these buyers, and we had that monthly momentum hammer that triggered it. And we had the 322 week, which set up that monthly hammer down in here. And then we mentioned on the second week of the month in here to add back to the position. And then the inside week add to that, the inside week add to that, the slight triangle out and they're still gunning. So really, really good trades in the utilities and still going. SO is a part of that. But um, that's really all I see on the bullish side of things for RevStrat, so not too much to talk about there. Three two twos. We're also not going to see too many things on the bullish side of that. Yep, nothing really. If we go to the three ones, get this up in here. Should I quickly tab through it. You got CB in the financials, which is momentum hammer month three one week. If we go to consumer defensive, Campbell's chicken noodle soup, 3-1. CAG is also 3-1 in the defensive sector. And that's going to be our XLP staples, which is 3-2 up in red, but closed 2 down in green. Uh, so it's just closer to opening inside week, so we'll wait. Uh, Etsy, Domino's Pizza, and the cyclicals are 3-1s, not, one not ones that I'm normally trading myself. Uh And then Garmin is 3-1 from exhaustion risk as well. This one you can see has not made any lower lows recently, so we'd love to do that for them and take them out of their long trades, take out that outside month into the end of the month. Um, outside of that, there's not too much I can add on the 3-1 side of things. Can then take a look at anything full time from continuity setting up two two reversals up or down, and that will be the last thing I'm looking at here today. So all I scan for is the week two down and then bullish full time from continuity, which we don't. Let me make sure this two down scan is working right. Yep. So we don't have any two downs with full time from continuity up. Bearish time frame continuity. We got 39 things to up in red, which includes more of the healthcare sector that I can see in here. And then more consumer defensive sector that I can see in here with some mixed in technology stuff. Looks like there's a few chips which are conflicted and stuck inside month still. So not too much to add. It's really a lot of those healthcare's which we could add VRTX. 
two up and red. Could three two the month, but we're coming into the end of the month. You got the two three week to do it full time from continuity. So you might get some movement there, but not much magnitude. We go to V to the RS. Th or two two two, which would cause two two month to go back in force. No daily signals. If we go to WBA healthcare, it's kind of just been grinding towards zero ever since topped out this big monthly broadening formation. He's just down they go. Um See. Yeah, so really just health cares and not much I can add there. And I see CELH on there as well. So we've pretty much covered the bases there. And that is about all I've got. Even when we go to the indexes, you'll see SPY now back at all-time highs after that big old move from CPI that just kept on gunning. The question now is, is you know, for at all-time highs, we normally grind, go up a little and then down quick and then up a little down quick and that's kind of how it goes but we have this hammer month maybe that could get better we're nowhere near opening two up month but we do have this hammered two two days setting up the full time from continuity if we go to the dow jones it's a two down in green day the idbm is two days mother bar stuck inside at the doji month at this point and then the q's you can see a little bit weaker still, but hammer day. So you got some potential 2-2 two -two hammer day simultaneous break in that stuff. And what we can do there is not all of those are going to be triggering weekly signals. It might confirm monthly signals. But let me pull this up for you. What you can scan for is this. So you can scan for day. And we can look for any hammer actionable signals. And let's say we'll just go for everything in here. And go for bullish time frame continuity. You'd see these are the 28 names setting up hammers with full time from continuity for next week. So this is stuff we could go after if market's strong. If we see any weakness sector specific, we have more reversal setups on the downside for next week, which really just tells us we have a lot of continuation weeks up for next week if things are going to keep gunning and not as many reversal signals as we did last week, which were in force. So that is going to be about it for me, guys. And we can filter this quick by ATR, get you a more specific list in here direction bullish to remove any duplicates and then there it is so i'll see you guys bright and early on tuesday morning for those in stat trading and if you're not i'll see you guys in monday nights nightly vid